Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kathy, and today we're going to be painting something fun and fantastical. A king toad. Yes, a king toad. Surrounded by his cohort of proud, adoring mushrooms. If you're new, I do art process videos and essay style videos where I talk about my creative process and generally ramble about one thing or another. So be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get alerts on riveting videos like this in the future. Let's get to it. For the paper, I'm using Arsh Coal Press, 100% cotton. For the paints, I'm using Daniel Smith and Winsor Newton. I brainstormed the composition using um, Photoshop and Canva, collecting a bunch of images that I liked and adjusting their angles, sizes, etc., and piecing them together. I'm using a light to medium layer of Naples yellow and applying it all over the body of the toad, including the neck ruffles. Then quickly, before it dries, I load my brush with Perlin Red and dive into the Naples yellow, dropping the paint in uneven patches. So we're forming a kind of yellow and red marbling pattern. With the same mixture, we lay a thin orangish layer over the rest of the frog. For the crown, we're going back to Naples yellow, applying it in a thin layer over the whole thing. And now we're moving on to the mushrooms, starting with the large one on the top right. I'm laying down a mixture of yellow ochre and Naples yellow. For the smaller mushrooms below, I paint a yellow layer, and then while it's still wet, add a bit of indanthrone blue to the underside of the mushroom cap, and also a bit of perlin red to the right side. For the small left mushroom, I'm laying down a wash that's a mix of Naples yellow and indanthrone blue. So the whole mushroom has a bluish tint from the get-go. We're going to repeat the process with the left mushrooms, but this time we're adding more of a red tinge to the wash. So after laying down the yellow layer, we drop in a bit of perlin red using wet on wet. Now we're going to build up the toad. I'm putting down thin layers of the indanthrone blue across the whole thing, but I'm focusing mainly on the right side because that's where the shadow falls in the reference photo. Then I'm also adding layers of perlin red mixed with yellow ochre for the warm underglow of the toad's skin. So it's multiple layers of yellow, red, and blue.
Now we're diving back into the mushrooms. Starting with the top right, I wet the cap of the mushroom with clean water, and after it's slightly dried, drop in a wash of perlin red mixed with yellow ochre. Then I add little spots of dark paint, which is a mixture of indanthrone blue, perlin red, and yellow ochre. And then I repeat the process with the other mushrooms. All of the caps will have a reddish tone to them, while the stalks will have more of a bluish tint. I'm also adding the shadows to the ruffles using a very thin mixture of all the paints mixed together. The inner part of the crown is a dark velvet material, and I'm using a mix of perlin maroon and indanthrone blue to color that in. And it's that same mix that I'm going to use for the toad spots.
also adding red spots to the mushrooms. Not all of them, but a few of the ones in the front. I'm also going to render out the crown further, adding some gold color using yellow ochre and a bit of perlin maroon, and also adding more of the shadows. Finally, I add all the fine details, rendering the mushroom stalks a bit more, as well as the ruffles. And with that, we're done! A small toad with big ambitions and a crown to match. I had a lot of fun with this one, and I hope you did too. Thanks so much for joining me, take care of yourself, take care of your box of sheep, and I'll see you in the next one.